Howdy folks, Dirt Naps Dad here. Today I'll be taking Ra into this assault along with a bunch of friends here. Famous Freak, leader of the Defend Middle Lane PlayStation 4 clan. Fro Double G, aka Frog or Double Fro as Freya. R. Kelly as Cabracken and Carnegie as Nija. Going up against a Hell, Kronos, Fenrir, Tablanke, and Izanami. So first off, before we get too far in here, I want to give some shout outs to Fro Double G. Uh, he has been working his buttocks off here in the assault mode and when he checked here yesterday before playing uh, on smite.guru he was at rank 107 uh, so high five on that buddy you're doing a good job uh, you you've imparted a lot of great knowledge on me uh, in assault and the game mode in general so i really enjoy all the time that we've gotten to spend here together uh it's been a been a good good thing for 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 me i know for sure uh and i hope that i can help you continue to climb here on your assault ranking with this game uh so i was thankful to have drawn raw here because he's one of my three diamonds and probably the god that overall i am most comfortable with in the game i i know how his kit works i know a lot of different combos with his kit I really enjoy the timing of his abilities as far as whether, you know, it's the, the cooldowns on them or just, you know, using your line and, you know, doing all that math in your head to know that this guy's going to be at this point down the road by the time the beam gets there and, and working that math out. I've had some great shots here with that uh, in time. Now, oh, let's see if we can do something here with an Iz Izzy. But uh, she sniffed out that I was throwing the circle down and avoided that and was able to just go ahead and get out of dodge. I was hoping to maybe just kind of slow her up in there a little bit and get some early damage on since she was being so bold. But uh, alas, you know, that man will be back here. Yeah, so we're good to go. I didn't waste anything. Uh, you know, neither did she really. Well, well, actually, her man is still down. I can see that here. But by the time we get going here again, it'll be pretty much a mute point. Uh, so one thing here that I noticed uh, lately is, is also playing with Freya is, is, is been problematic because, well, she's got that banish. And, you know, on a good side, I was playing against a Freya and a Freya and a, what's his name? Poseidon, you know, the guy with the Kraken. So... Oh, there's the Izzy going down, and I picked up a couple other people along with that, too. I seen her going low health, and I wanted to finish what we had started earlier, so I was very happy to get that one. Uh, but but getting going back to playing with Freya, uh, you know, me and my whole team ended up being dead center in the middle of the Kraken. It was coming up, and I'm like, shaw, Nikes, rrr, toast. And then Freya banished us, all of us. So we're up in the air, the Kraken didn't hit us, and we landed afterwards. That had to have been one pissed off beside and Oh my goodness, I couldn't even imagine it. Boy, you know, my nose always gets itchy when I do videos. I don't know, it's just because, you know, I'm, I shouldn't scratch my nose while I'm talking to y'all. But hey, you know what? I realize it's not really my problem. <laughs> y'all gotta deal with it, not me. <laughs> uh, but, you know, it is my problem because I don't want you guys to have to deal with me having an itchy nose. But hey, when I'm in here doing this, that's when it says, hey, look. You shouldn't be scratching your nose. Let's just let's do it right now. But getting back to the game here, we got them pushed under tower. The Fender is trying to push out. I get the alt in to help peel him out, but I only get a slice of Chablanque there, it looks like. Uh, but uh, hey, 340 off his health is not too bad. And then I waste my beam. Yeah, that was a wasted one. I still do that every now and then. Sometimes, you know, in the heat of battle. I'm thinking one thing and, and something else quite happens and mm, yeah I gotta watch out for that Fenrir because he's been trying to pecker me down with that brutalize and able to pick him off with the basic attack there to finish him off there but it was a good teamwork here on my part of the team there's a nice beam down the row of them and uh yeah gonna go ahead and throw up uh the heel here so the reason I'm throwing up a lot of heels aggressively is I uh, talked to my team before we got started here and said, you know, what kind of raw you want? You know, I've done the aggressive raws before. I've done the damage raws before. This one was, hey, let's let's go a little bit more supporty. And let, let's also go for the Lotus Crown over, say, like the, the rod of Asclepius. I don't know. Uh, Asclepi, ass claps. 
I like that one better. So going for the, the guy behind the tower, I end up getting the guy in front of the tower. Uh, but I went with the, the Lotus Crown here to give the bonus uh, nice alt there, picking up the Fenrir coming through. He was just full health a minute ago, but between all of us, you know, he's down here wondering why he's relegated to the back of the tower. Uh, so I threw the, 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 I'm throwing the circle aggressive because I want my teammates to be able to run into it to pick up those extra defenses. Uh, I did make note to point out to them more than once, though, that, hey, look, this is a statically placed heal. I will try to, you know, obviously put it in good places, but you all got to make sure you step in it, too, to pick up the benefits from it. There, our Kabrakan got, got squished in between towers, and, and it wasn't one of those times where we had a good push on their tower that he was doing it to hold off. It was a, oh, crap, I'm stuck between two towers because one more tower shot and I'm dead. There's a nice stun from Nija, and I thought, well, I was going to beam her for the final. But again, you know, we're playing with the Freya. She likes to throw people up, and, well, Pro and I, we got to work on our communications with that. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we did talk about it as the game was going, and, and he apologized for, for the time, or, or three, or five, I don't know how many times it was that we got with that. But look at this beam as I pick up the Fenrir. I see him going out from the dark. And thought I could probably still pick them up at that angle, and I did. And then I missed the anticipated alt with them drifting back towards center lane. Because, once again, Freya had done throwing them up in the air on me. So, again, need to work on our communication and timings. And and that's, you know, it's one thing, uh, you know, people want to complain about matchmaking in Smite. Look, I've seen some of the reasons why you complain about it. And... and there are some times where, all right, that, that argument had some merit. But more often than not, more often than not, I see balanced matches. You know, yeah, they had a lower guy on them, but so did your team. So, you know, it was pretty fair and balanced. Just because you were the top guy and the other guys were more mid and then one lower doesn't mean that you should feel bad that you were in there. You know, it's got to average out in the end. You know, three middle guys and one low guy and one high guy on either team. That's pretty good matchmaking in, in my point of view. You know, is it bad that you're really good versus that really low person? Well, all right. You know, you're going to have that. Sometimes, you know, that guy's part of a group of friends or something. You know, you're just trying to get into the game and, you know, tagging along. You know, we're going to have that sometimes. You know, there's also 91 gods in this game right now, 92 coming. I don't know where we're at. I, I, we're in the 90s, right? I've been playing for a year now, and there's still guys I haven't played at all. You know, and just... You're going to have that, you know, as you explore and try to play new gods, get those masteries in, get a god down. And even by the time you get a god down, then you move on to the next guy and you might not play that guy for a little bit. And then you get rusty with them. So even though you have a higher level, you might be playing someone you never played before or play them frequently or are just very rusty with at the moment. You know, more often than not, I think that's the cause for a lot of the BMing that goes on versus matchmaking. So again, trying to be aggressive with the heal here as I get that up in front. Get the beam out, because I know getting that brutalized on me is not a good thing, but I'll try to curve around through the Cabracken. Oh, boy, I'm low health there. Can I get in, get in? Oh, all right. I thought they were engaging there, but no, they were both getting ready to slide to the right, and I was stuck to the left. So, all right. Well, you know, when it comes to the raw alts, you win some, you lose some there. Like, oh, shoot. Fenrir is diving in. I better jump back out, get the slow up. But nope, he did not engage there. Let's go ahead, throw the beam in across those minions, see if we can't pick any up. But Freya takes down Fenrir with her ult, and we're feeling pretty good now as we got three of them down. All five of us are still up. Let's get some pressure in here on the tower. Get the beam in and across, and there goes Kronos. Down goes Izzy. There's a not quite Dia's side because Jablanke is already back up, but that's going to be their tower there. Let's go ahead, clear some minions, and see if we can't work in here to the second tower as well. Get the heal up for those that are needed. I didn't think we were going to quite pressure the tower. There's again the beam, so again I was anticipating Jablanke coming in, but the banish throws him up. Cuts off the math that I did in my head. Didn't include the variable factors in there. But let's go ahead and back up because we're kind of in a tough spot there. Nijak goes down to the Jablanke. Wasn't quite happy about that. But at this point, we're like, okay, we need to retreat. They're all kind of coming in full boat here. I missed with the, the, the spin around the raw alt. Trying to do something here. Like, ah, I don't got any abilities. Let's just get the slow out. Maybe I can stay alive. Let's just drop a heal here underneath myself and maybe get some protections. And ah, it's not enough. Too little, too late. They push us back to tower, 
hardcore style. So I don't know that any of us survived that. Uh, but here we go. <clears throat> All right, so we're at three, one, and four. Looking at a buy here. So again, sticking with the support theme, going with the rod of Asclepius here. And now I'm going to go back in and pick up some anti-heals. Because, well, in this mode with the hell, that's kind of important. All right. So we got Kabraken defending tower here against the enemy team. But we're getting some allies out to him here pretty quickly. Nijaz already there. And here comes the rest of us to so just play a little bit of defense. We're almost there. Ooh, I'm getting text messages from the wife. I should check them out. But I'm in the middle of doing this. So right now, sorry, honey. This is, this, you guys here are important too. And, and even though you're my wife, I gotta gotta finish this video right now. I know I got time to get back to you here afterwards, though. Oh, we got a nice grouping of them there, and got the Kabraken out. There goes the beam down on Chablanke. He's not in a good spot. He's banished. But look at this! I threw the, my my ability up with anticipation of the banish, and we pick up the kill. See, folks, you just gotta think about these things and 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 work on your communications and just you know. Get your timing down with each other. And there was another one where I had some timing down. That kill was going to happen no matter what there. But we pick him up before she gets to the beam. But that's one of the, again, going back to Rod, it's one of the things I love most about him is just doing that advanced math and head and saying, all right, where is the angle versus they're, where they're running? And get that meeting point. You know, I don't even know what kind of math that is anymore. It's, uh, too far removed from school to remember that one. Calculus, trigonometry, I don't know. Angles. It all has to do with angles. Maybe just algebra. I don't know. Who knows? Somebody knows. Because <laughs> obviously it's just math. It's black and white, even though uh, uh, um, this common core is trying to dissuade us from thinking that math is black and white when it very is much so. Um, it is black and white. So, yes, you know. Let me know. What kind of math is that? I'm intrigued now. All right. So Jablanca uses his alt to try to get up to us and to allow his team to close the distance. But so far, it looks like we're going to go ahead and make them pay for the distance as I alt into a pocket of them. Eh, it wasn't quite the best of alts there at all. Uh, sometimes, you know, that's how I roll, though. You, you just go big or go home. Let's get the slows down here on the Fenrir. Get him set up there for Freya. Can we get the kill in? Yes, she can. Can she stay alive here as we take out the Izanami as well? No, she can't. But down goes Izzy, the famous freak. We do get the kill in there. And that is a deicide. And ladies and gentlemen, they're going to take that opportunity to go ahead and surrender to us. So defend middle lane. The clan lives on here. We shout out our, our, our motto of defend middle lane. Well, hey, we're in the clan. We listen to the podcast. If you haven't checked them out already, man, check them out. They are great. They're on SoundCloud, iTunes, YouTube. You know, just look look for that Defend Middle Lane. They're out there. If you haven't heard of them already, come on. They're a great podcast from the, the casual perspective. Great, guys. My shout-outs to you, Madman Matt, Happiness, and Silent Reveries. Good, good guys all around. Really funny, too. And very, very well knowledge. Here's your stat line for that that game there. Let's get our, we're getting our fantasy points tipped out because, well, you know, uh, most of us here have our 30,000 in and, and not all of us do. So, you know, they get the extra ones there. Here's your stat line, though, before the rest of the tips come in. Uh, so it was a great game. We helped Fro uh, continue to climb here. I don't know where his stats are at as of today after last night, but I know we had some wins and some losses, but I think we had more wins and losses. So hopefully he's still continuing that climb into the 100 and then we'll help him climb to the top of that scale. Uh, so, you know, last uh, not but not least here, hit the subscribe button, check the bell, hit the like button, give me some comments, give me some of that love, share it, tell your friends, you know, all that great stuff. And when it comes to dirt naps, remember, you got to give them before you take them. Peace out, folks.